Now, the weather spoiled my plans this weekend. I was planning on going up to T-Bay to see the EV charging madness that everybody seems to expect there. But the weather forecast was really not very good. So I've put that off for the moment. And then looking out of the window, I found that the weather is absolutely appalling. But I can also see the motorway. I can actually see it out of my bedroom window and the traffic was stationary. So all it took was just throw on a, a coat, head off up the road, and I only have to go up 100 yards and I come up to a footbridge and I'm up over the motorway straight away. And absolutely correctly, the traffic is appalling. Now, this is northbound traffic. So I'm looking south here, and this is the traffic. Just uh, out of shot behind, uh, in the background, there is uh, stationary traffic. Uh, absolutely stationary. And of course, the rest of it, once it comes past that, there's a little bit of movement, but it's very slow. And no, this isn't slow motion. This is actual speed. So then turning round and heading up, facing up north to see what's up ahead. Um, I find exactly the same. So this is absolutely chock-a-block. It's right on the point of stationary traffic. The weather, absolutely appalling. And then uh, looking north, you can see it's just bunching up again. Traffic is queuing to get off the motorway because they see the traffic. This is absolute bank holiday madness. And we've not even got anywhere near an EV charger at this point. Now, I do know, I live here, uh, that just up the road, and the reason that traffic is slowing down up ahead, is one of the major junctions. And that's always good for a traffic jam. So what I'm going to do is going to jump in my car. I know a shortcut how to get there without using the motorway. And let's see if we can film what's actually happening. The weather is looking appalling, but it's not that wet at the moment. So let's head off there and see what we can find. Now the motorway here is, uh, it's a three-way motorway. We have the M6 heading north, we have the M65 heading east and west, and we also have the M61 just down the road, and that one's heading southeast. Uh, so this is quite a major junction. And by the time it got here, it was absolutely torrential rain. And I didn't even want to get out of the car, but I've set myself a task of filming. So I parked in a place I often park, which is the Holiday Inn. And this is where I've filmed many times and still do the um, Tesla supercharger that's being installed. 15 V4 chargers, presumably open to all, uh, but it's still not open. But it's a good place to park. And from here I can walk to the motorway safely. So parked up, it was torrential. First thing, dash into the hotel, put my registration in, hotel visitor, that means I can park here free. And then it's head off to the motorway and absolutely chaotic. And the weather was deteriorating all the time. It absolutely was torrential at several points while I was filming. And you can see here, traffic is stationary, just barely creeping forward. And this is just up the road from where I filmed, just starting to move. But again, you can see all the lights on in the distance. This is really bad. Now, I have to say that in all of this, I didn't see a single EV. So before all of you EV haters start going on about EVs and bank holiday weekends and charging problems. Uh, no, this is not EVs. You're very keen to tell us that only about 5% of the UK uh, cars are EVs. So 95% of this traffic is not EVs. It is ICE cars. So who's the idiot now? So I thought what I need to do now is just have a look at a couple of EV chargers which are nearby and see just how bad the charging is. And just down the road from here is uh, Janet Richard Services. And that is a Tesla supercharger location. And there they have 12 V3 chargers, which are all 250 kilowatts. So let's head there and see what we find when we get there. And up the motorway. And here we are coming off at Charnett Richard. Now there are two big 
installations here. The first of these is a Tesla. It's a V3 chargers, 250 kilowatts, and they're in just, out, just outside the motorway services in the uh, hotel car park. So when we were looking at the uh, display on the way here, it showed they were pretty much full here. So as we get here, we'll have a drive and see what sort of queue we've got. And the first thing we notice, uh, there is absolutely no queue. It is full, so unless someone leaves the next car to arrive, that will be one in the queue. But hardly hundreds of miles of queues, which some of the mainstream media love to advertise. Here we have no queue. And on the way out, we're heading on now to the other chargers. There is actually a car coming in. So this one is going to have to wait. But that's hardly the sort of cues that the mainstream media love to portray. Now, the really nice thing here is if there is a queue, so let's say we had a queue of 10 cars here, 10 Teslas, all waiting to charge, and uh, they didn't want to wait. Uh, literally 100 yards away, we have a apple green um, installation. And at the Apple Green, we have eight 180 kilowatt dual bay chargers. So that gives us 16 bays here. And what that means is with the Tesla, 12 bays, and this one, 16 bays, it means that we've got 28 uh, chargers available to us here. So if I was a Tesla, went to the Tesla and couldn't actually charge because there was a queue, I could literally pull 100 yards over. And here we are arriving. At the, um, at the Apple Green Electric chargers. You can see just a scattering of cars, two, three cars in, uh, one of them leaving, but there's eight chargers here, 16 bays, and they're virtually all, all vacant. So there is no queuing here whatsoever. Now the Tesla supercharger 100 yards away, that one is Tesla only. So any other cars other than Tesla would charge here at the Apple Green, and yet there's no queue here. So just pulling round now to have a look at um, stop and just have a quick look at the chargers. But absolutely no queues here at all. So mainstream media, I know you're probably going to find one or two locations in the whole of the UK where there is actually a queue. Uh, and well done you for finding it. But here I found 28 chargers and about 14 of them are actually vacant for charging. So total madness for all these people queuing in the rain on the M6 motorway, but no queues at the EV chargers. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe. It's free. Thank you very much to all our viewers. A special thanks go out to our Patreon members. They are growing by the day. So thank you very much for your support. Hope to see you again soon. I'm Dave.